السلام عليكم ماي نيم دكتور انفال البراك كونسلتنت تيرنس كينج فهد هوسبيتال يونيفرستي توداي اي وود لايك تو بيرفورم فيزيكال اكزامينيشن اوف لور لم ريجاردينغ ذا دي فين ثرومبوسيس فيرست افتر جريتينغ اند انتروديوس يور سيلف تو ذا بيشنت اند يو هاف تو اكسبلين ذا بروسيجر ذات يو وونت تو بيرفورم اند تيك هيز بيرميشن you should posi position the patient in supine position and make a good exposure to the lower limb, both lower limb. So it's better in supine position. Then we expose the patient up to middle of the thigh and start with normal examination. We start with inspection, inspection of both legs. So we can say, for, for example, this patient, uh, the normal shape and contour, no deformity, normal position of both leg. There is no obvious distension or swelling of each uh, leg. And there is normal color with normal hair distribution. And no obvious, this is very important things you have to mention, even negative sign, you should mention them. So for example, you, you can say there is no dilated vein and there is no varicose vein is seen and also there is no ulcer in both side of the leg, no gangrenous changes and no petechial hemorrhage. Okay, then we can also inspect between the, the toes for any ulcer, wound, trauma and for both side and also you can say that this is for an inspection. So there is no uh, uh, seeing any obvious uh, deformity and there is no obvious swelling and there is no obvious change in the, in the color of both legs. Then we come to palpation. What is very important part in the in examination of the vein thrombosis. So fir first we, we ask the patient if the patient have any pain in both leg any pain that the patient have during our examination so start with palpation the dorsum and we always looking to the face of the patient especially the calf muscle and up to middle part of the thighs both sides so there is no tenderness and then we examine for the change in temperature. For this patient there is no change in temperature detected on palpation. Then we examine for any edema, both sides. We can start with the dorsum. beside the lateral maiolus, both sides, then the both chin of the patient, apply a gentle pressure for 15 seconds and you check for any pitting edema. So there is no obvious edema detected on palpation and there is no change, change, there is no edema and there is also, there is no tenderness on palpation. Now we come to examination of the capillary filling. You can ask, just press gently, press, press both nails of the big toes of both and for a few seconds and remove your fingers. The capillary filling normally two to three seconds more than that it will be compromised and abnormal then we can do but this sign Homan sign we we cannot it is not a, a have an, any productivity during our physical examination Homan sign mean we we do or uh, perform a sharp dorsiflexion dorsiflexion of the foot 
sharp dorsal flexion or forceful dorsal flexion and the patient will have a pain in the calf muscle there is this sign have a low specificity and low sensitivity uh, productivity so we usually will not depend on this sign and it also may carry a risk of dislodgement of the uh, thrombus approximately then we have to also we, we uh, examine for the uh, arterial pulse so we start with popliteal popliteal just flex the knee both knee it's present for 30 second minimum and then the dorsalis pedis it is just lateral to the tendon of extensor hollis is longus how we know the extensor of hollis we ask the patient to dorsiflex of the big toe also both sides and also for posterior tibial artery just behind the medial malleolus if there is also it's intact if there is any dilated vein or sign of thrombophlebitis superficial thrombophlebitis we have to palpate up the up to the to the uh, up to the thigh we are just here there is no sign of dilated vein and there is no clinical signs of su superficial thrombophlebitis otherwise if there is any sign we can trace the vein up to up to the thigh then the, the important things is to if there is any change obvious change in the in the size of now we any we, if we see any obvious difference in the size of both calf uh, uh, muscle we have to measure this uh, difference and how we measure just we go in a fixed fixed place and this fixed place actually it is a, 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 a mark a landmark is below tibial tuberosity 10 cm 10 cm exactly below below tibial tuberosity here and here just using a skin marker erasable skin marker so we can just flex the knee gently and take the, me the measure 10 cm below tubal tuberosity how you know tubal tuberosity it is the first prominent part of the tibial bone if less than 1 cm it is no significantly insignificant, insignificant or non significant clinically as it's more than 2, two cm it will be significant swelling or difference in sizes and regarding the, the upper part in the thigh we also we use a 15 cm above the upper border of the patella bone 15 cm here 15 cm and we can also measure both differences in the in the in the thigh <coughs> after we have to trace if the patient have a swelling for example we have to trace you know this this uh, this uh, vein you have you should have some knowledge about the anatomy of the veins below the tibial part the tibial fossa or the uh, the popliteal crest there is the uh, uh, posterior tibial vein, anterior tibial, uh, anterior tibial vein, and there is peroneal vein. These three bifurcation come together to form the popliteal vein, the popliteal vein, then become the superficial femoral, femoral vein, 
and receiving from them the deep, deep uh, femoral vein or profundus femoris vein and there is gray savinous vein form to, to form the common, common femoral vein then this common femoral vein under the inguinal ligament become the external, external iliac, uh, iliac uh, vein. Now after we have, have the, uh, finished the palpation part of the, of the lower limb, so what the sign of the signs of uh, DVT? This swelling, ten tenderness on examination, positive Homan sign, and uh, uh, also uh, red change in the color. And change in color may have you have uh, red redness, rhythm, uh, 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 rhythmic changes, and also because of inflammatory changes, and also may have. Uh, a black, uh, uh, white color. What do you call it? Phlegmasia uh, alba dolens. When there is a big proximal thrombosis, this compress the arterial supply, and there is ischemic changes and become cold and white color. And phlegmasia cirrola dolens when this is become a dusky blue uh, cyanose lower limb. This when the blood supply, arterial blood supply, compromised by big venous clot, especially in the uh, proximal common, uh, f uh, common uh, femoral vein or external uh, iliac vein. Uh, these are the, the signs. Also, other signs we may, may find because of, of the uh, uh, venous uh, DVT may cause uh, uh, venous insufficiency. We can see a sign of thrombophlebitis or we can we see a sign of varicose dilated, uh, dilated uh, vein. This is also a sign of uh, DVT. So you, you may ask during the exam, it's very important, three to four questions you should put it in your mind. First, what is the, the risk factor? What are the risk factors to develop DVT? Risk factor is many risk factors, especially the age more than 40, for example, on mobility, post-surgical procedure like for example gynecological procedure or orthopedic procedure or neurosurgical proce procedure paralysis in patient for example paralyzed patient and patient with the trauma to the trauma to the to the lower limb and also uh, using contraceptive uh, estrogen therapy for example contraceptive uh, pill also familial and recurrence and pre I, I mean previous DVT is also a risk uh, factor and you know protein C, protein S, leading factor 5 also deficiencies also can cause recurrent antiphospholipid syndrome can cause also a recurrent uh, uh, um, uh, risk factor for DVT. So you should be aware during the history you should be aware of, about the risk factor to develop DVT. The number two the question number two, what are the differential diagnoses? Not every swelling leg, it means this is DVT. DVT can mimic a lot of presentation, like for example, cellulitis. Cellulitis is skin infection, may also patient come with pain and swelling and color change, changing and inflammatory changes. So may mimic also DVT. Also, for example, hematoma, trauma to the, to the, uh, to the muscle, calf muscle, become intramuscular hematoma is also mimic DVT. For example, uh, uh, rupture Baker cyst is also lymph edema is also also can mimic DVT. Unilateral lymph edema can mimic a DVT. So many many uh, many uh, conditions that mimic the signs and symptoms of uh, DVT. The number uh, three question is also important. You have how to definite diagnose after because. The DVT, DVT signs and symptoms only can come with only 50% 50, 50 of the patient. The other 50% of the patient, either accidentally you found them, they have DVT, or after they develop complication, like for example, uh, PE, pulmonary embolism. So how we confirm the diagnosis? You should be aware also about this, this is the procedure and the uh, imaging procedure that can confirm the diagnosis and visualize the a thrombus, like for example, Doppler or venogram. And for how long you will treat and how you treat the DVT is also very important to know that how we start the patient with usually with heparin, 
like low molecular weight with overlap with warfarin is also and how we monitor each with heparin or with warfarin and for how long we treat and with the side effect of treatment you should be also aware about this uh, question the last thing you may you may ask uh, is the uh, what's the complication of the complication of the uh, uh, DVT complication of DVT for example the most dangerous complication and acute complication is the pulmonary embolism due to migration of the pulmonary uh, uh, migration of the thrombus to the pulmonary uh, tree this is the serious acute complication other complication other complication like for example uh, recurrence is also uh, venous insufficiency develop of of varicose vein and also a chronic uh, uh, pain uh, pain uh, and the swelling chronic uh, pain